Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Ahaya, everybody. Praise Ahaya one more time. Praise Ahaya from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister. My boss is going. Uh, Carrie Ann in Yeshaya the Christ. Yeshaya of Nazareth. Yeshaya the Messiah. If you want to know why I call God Haya and Jesus Christ, Yeshaya. I've done a video. Look in the description box or the pinned comment section. Also, brothers and sisters, dirty, wicked, demonic scammers are in the comment section. Listen, whenever I make a comment, my name, Sister Carrie Ann, that's all you need to know. Sister Carrie Ann, my name is in solid gray border. If it's not solid gray border, it is not me. All right? You need to report these people and rebuke them. So remember, when I make a comment of any form, my name is in solid gray border. Okay? Yes, brothers and sisters, we are near. We're continuing our prophetic theme banner. We are near hallelujah we are near because we're near to some prophetic apocalyptic event all right and when we say that we are near we're not only talking about the coming the nearness of the coming of the messiah but the the the, the prophecies in the word that is to be fulfilled and we have a prophetic song many many people know it because they used to sing it when they were little when they were small children um, and it goes like this Oh, near you are, oh, near you are, oh, near you are, oh, near, oh, near you are, oh, near you are, oh, near you are, oh, near. It's a bit too high for me, but anyways, we are near. We are near, brothers and sisters, so be on your guard. All right, I want to talk about something that has been troubling my spirit. It's been troubling my spirit, brothers and sisters, and it's body modification. Body modification. This, this, this is a demon from the pit of hell. Literally from the pit of hell, brothers and sisters, that causes human beings to change the beautiful image. This is what the Lord says concerning human, the creation of human. This is what Ahia says. Ahia says, Genesis chapter 1, right? Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Let's read from verse 26. The Bible says, And Ahia said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and of the fowls of the air and of the cattle and, and, and over and, and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Let me just, this is going to be a side note. I'm sorry, brothers and sisters, but something just came in my spirit and I have to talk about this. You see, when the Lord says, when Ahia says, let them have dominion over the earth. Ahaya cannot take this back. And this is the reason why when certain things happen, when you see pedophilia, children getting killed, murderation in the land, all sorts of wicked demonic stuff, and you said, oh, where is the Lord? Dominion over the earth. But, doesn't take it back, but... But, 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 but through the precious son, yes, haya, hallelujah, hallelujah, he has got the keys of death and hell, so we can relax. Though these things are happening, amen, but yes, haya has got the key of death and hell, so we can relax and know that when we call upon the son, that he will come through for us. But yes, brothers and sisters, mankind, Ahaya, has given us dominion, dominion over this earth. Is what you do with it. If you choose to go and kill somebody, you're going to be judged. If you choose to go and do wickedness and badness in the land, you will be judged. I just wanted to get that out of the way. But anyways, so the Lord said, we're talking about body modification, but the Lord says, so Ahaya created man 
created. Mark the word created. What's creation? When you create something, you are the originator of it, isn't it? Hmm? You are the originator of it. You've created that. So a high created man in his own image, in the image of a higher created e him, male and female created e them. Hallelujah. But you see, you see, brothers and sisters, this is where the body modification comes in because Satan loves to mimic and he loves to mock. And Satan right now has a vendetta. He is angry with creation. Angry with human beings. Literally. Jealous. If you want to know the definition of jealousy, Satan is your guy. Extreme. Even I'm, even I'm doing this video is burning up with jealousy. Like he's, yeah. And when someone, this is, this is a very wicked state to be when you're jealous. It's not good. That's what, that's what the Bible says. All jealousy. Anybody that's jealous, you're going to go to hell. Because it's a very, very wicked state. Because when you're jealous, you do all sorts of wicked things. So this is a state that Satan is in at this moment in time. He's extremely jealous of humanity. He's extremely, je he's extremely jealous of creation. And so one of his tactics is to get people to do body modification. Now, body modification is not new because the Hamites in Africa, all right, used to do this stuff. Many, many people don't know it, but it's a ritual where they cut themselves by the modification. And that's why Leviticus chapter 19 verse 28 says, Make no cutting in your flesh for the dead. Or print anything on your body. This is body, mod this is body modification, but the church is asleep. You think that is fine and it's okay and that, um, you know, we're living in ancient time. But his word will never ever pass away. Le Leviticus, Leviticus chapter 28. The Bible says that, Leviticus chapter 19 verse 28. The Bible says that he shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. No, but no, no, no. Body modification for the dead, nor print any marks upon your body. Do you hear that, brothers and sisters? Print. Tattoo is printing. It's body modification. Now, if you are born again, child of the Most High, and you had your, you know, your tattoo, your tat tattooed up before you came to the biblical Christ. You're forgiven. Of course you are. Yeah. You're forgiven. You're fine. But if you're in Christ and you profess that you're walking with the most high and you're still having body modification because that's what tattoo is. You're in trouble. You're in danger of judgment, brothers and sisters. So the Bible is saying here, make no cuttings in your flesh. Don't cut up yourself. No cutting, and that means ear piercing. This is why I don't wear earrings. You can say, oh, well, it's a carry and you can wear falls or ring. Well, no, thank you. I'm good. I used to wear them. I used to have a little a pierce here, a pierce there, one of one up here, up my up my ears, up there. But the Lord says you mustn't cut your flesh. You might say, "Oh, well, Sister Carrie, what about cesarean section?" Well, that's a medical um, event. That's different. That's a medical event. That's different. 
the Lord's not going to judge you for going to a doctor because there were doctors in Christ's time. And he didn't judge anybody for going to the doctors. He didn't curse, I think it was Luke that was a doctor. He didn't curse Luke and say, oh, you're a doctor, you're weak. No, it's just because Luke had to do the ministry. So Luke had to give the that field up. But the Lord is saying, make no marks on your body, nor print any marks upon you, for I am a higher. Body modification, brothers and sisters. This is a deed, or this is a, um what's the word i'm looking for this is it's a deed but this is a work from the pits of hell this is coming from satan you see them isn't it brothers and sisters and you see the body modification of themselves and they said they want to be aliens they cut off their what they cut their they cut the tongue to look like a snake they they they, they blacken their eyes cut their noses and all sorts of wicked body, body modification because they're deceived that's what it is they're deceived by the serpent because the image of the most high the physical image of humanity is beautiful beautiful but satan don't like it he doesn't want to look at a human being because every time he looks at a human being he sees the most high he sees the image of the Most High. And this is the reason why I have a hard time with people who tattoo up the whole face. It's a deception. Because when Satan looks at you, he don't want to see your natural skin. He don't want to see that. He want that to be covered up in his ink. Body modification very strong on my spirit brothers and sisters you will be judged for it but equally it is a work of the devil it's a deception romans chapter 8 romans chapter 8 verses 29 the bible reads romans 8 verse 29 the bible reads for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. The image of Christ. That's what it's all about. We having the image of Christ. But Satan wants to wreck that with his wicked body modification. 2 Corinthians 3 verse 18 says, But we all with face be but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image. From glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. So we have an image. We have an image, brothers and sisters, and that is the image of the Most High in Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1. Amen. I've lost the scripture now. Genesis chapter 1, verses 20 something. Okay. I've lost Genesis chapter 1 verses 26 to 27 we are created in the most high image the devil is a liar body modification brothers and sisters it is it is a deception from the pit of hell a massive deception from the pit of hell but you see people rather evil than good And like I say, brothers and sisters, it hurts, it 
pains the devil to look at a human being, especially, especially those in Christ walking uprightly. It pains his heart. So he deceives and he tricks and he lies and he canoe and he coerce, coerce and make you believe that, oh, body modification, whatever that is, you choose to do, it is okay. All these heavily piercing all over your body, cutting yourself. Bible said, don't do it. Ahaya said, don't do it, for I am the Lord. Cutting yourself to put in all these jewelries. Putting marks on your body. Printing stuff on your body. Print. Bible didn't hide that. And tattoo is printing. It's an impression of printing, brothers. And it's drawing on your skin. And like I say, brothers and sisters, because I talk about tattoo because many, 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 many Christians still do it. Still, they still do body modification. And tattoo is one of it. And people need to stop it. And I've said it before, brothers and sisters, you know, with the tattooing and stuff, I believe that when you come to Christ, all right, some people do not have money to revert back tattooing. They don't. You can have laser to get rid of it. Man, not completely go, but it'll be faded that nobody can see. Well, some people don't have the money to do that. But there's a sense of this arrogancy. And, this, and I've seen them on YouTube. When they could cover up, but they show the tattoo. This pride of wearing stuff to show. Okay, if a tattoo is in your face, I understand. If it's on your neck... I understand. But if it's on your upper arm, cover up. Cover up yourself. Because other brothers and sisters see that in you. You had your tattoo many, many moons ago before you came to the Most High. But brothers and sisters who are just coming into the truth see you tats up, inked up. And I start to think, oh, well, he's talking about the Lord and he sounds so strong and so powerful. Or she sounds so strong and so powerful, but they've got tattoo. Oh, that means that the Lord doesn't mind, does he? No, the devil is a lie. He does mind. Cover up yourself. Stop exposing your tattoos. You will be judged. And like I say, if it's on your face or your neck where it cannot be hidden or whatever, a higher understands. But if it can be hidden, brothers and sisters, don't show it. Stop cutting your body. Stop the body piercing. Don't do it as a child of the Most High. Like I said, this is the reason why I don't wear earrings and I don't wear nose rings. Because I was tempted to put a little knob in my nose. Very tempted as a child of the Most High. Before I came in the prophetic, that's it. When I was a weak Christian. Um, yeah, because I like it, you know. I thought, oh, my pierce my nose. And then I look at my belly button and I thought, I might pierce my belly button as well. Oh, oh, yeah, of course it came to me. Of course it did. I was very, very tempted. In fact, I did went to the piercing shop. And I had a talk with the person that was going to do the piercing and they were showing me the the belly rings <laughs> they were showing me the belly rings and said oh you can get this one or oh, you can get that one and what have you cutting your skin i know it says for the dead but why the reason why people cut their skin if it's not medical don't cut your skin you might say, oh, well, Sister Kerry, and my ears is already pierced. Well, take the earrings out and let your ears form back its natural um, hole. Let it close up. 
Miles of close-ups in 2015 have worn an earrings. And if, if, if I had pierced my nose, the same thing would have happened. And if I had pierced my navel, or navel, the navel, my belly button, the same thing would have happened, brothers and sisters. The same thing would have happened, sorry. I would have allowed them to close up. Because I transgress against the word of the Most High. See, many, many people think that they're going to get to heaven any and anyhow. You won't. Because Ahaya is coming back for a church. Yes, Ahaya is coming back for a church without spot or blemish. You cannot enter heaven transgressing the word of the Most High. You won't have any justification on the day of judgment. What are you going to say to him? You continue to wear your jewelry. You continue to wear your nose ring. You continue to wear your belly ring, your body modification. It's body modification, brothers and sisters. You may look at it and say, oh, well, I haven't cut my fingers off. I haven't cut my nose off. I haven't slipped my tongue. No, but you transgress the word by cutting your skin. And it's not a medical procedure. And all those parents, and I've always said this, brothers and sisters, I've always said this, they hurt, Lord, thank you, Lord, for allowing me to go in the truth. I was so wicked. When I think about the whole situation of my life, I didn't love the Lord. It's true. I didn't love him. I said that I did. I told people I was a child of God, but I didn't love him because my mind and my thinking was wicked. And I've always said to myself, and I nearly... I nearly, my lips are dry. Sorry for my licking, brothers and sisters. This is why I wear a lip thing, isn't it? Um, I nearly, nearly bought my 10-year-old son when he just, when he was born. At six months, I nearly got his little ears pierced. Nearly. And I thought, I'm not going to do it because, you know, he's a boy. But I always say to myself, if I had a little girl, or whenever I had a little girl, not having any kids anymore, but I've always said, if I should have a little girl, when they're three or six months, I'm taking them to the, the jewelry shop, and I'm getting their ears pierced. And when I think about that demonic ritual, because that's what it is, because you, you're literally drawing blood. It's very, it's very wicked. It's almost letting your child pass through the fire. When the Lord said, do not let your child pass through the fire. All these things that people are going to be judged. I don't think people understand how holy. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, I don't think some of us understand the holiness and righteousness of the Most High. He judges righteously. If you take your child to go to the jewelry shop to have their ears pierced, to do their body modification, how do you think that the Lord feels about it? Do you think he turns a blind eye and says, oh, do what? No. Because that's his creation. Every child is his creation, brothers and sisters. And you're letting that baby walk through the fire. Why? For beauty, for, for what? To say, oh, you look, the baby looks so cute. In two pierced ears. That can potentially. That child can develop something called keloid scarring. Especially in black people. Very wicked. You have to rethink when you come to Christ. You cannot think like the world. You just cannot do it. I'm not telling you what to do with your children. But if you are in Christ, if you are in Christ and you're walking with the Lord, if you have children and you've pierced their ears, let that air seal up back. Take them earrings out. Take them nose ring out. Take the belly rings out. Let it seal back up. Because if not, you will be judged. Leviticus, brothers and sisters, nine, Leviticus chapter 19, verse 28. The Lord says, make none of this in your skin, and it still stands. It still stands today. Body modification. Body modification and the church. <laughs>
be careful. I want you to make it into glory. But you're not going to get there. You cannot climb through the window. You cannot want to look exactly like the world and expect to go into glory. It ain't going to happen. Because a higher is extremely righteous. There's no sin in him. Righteous, brothers and sisters, holy. Holy. He judges everything. He judges the way you dress. Everything. What you do to your hair. What you wear. He judges everything. But the Lord is against body, body modification. And like I say, okay, you're not slitting your tongue like some of these wicked out there who slit their tongue and cut, the, cut off the ears and cut off this to look like a lizard or to look like a snake or whatever. They don't want to look like the human being that the Lord created them to be. And that's because they're deceived. But... Also, the body modification is the piercing, the ear piercing, and the tattooing. So you have to be very careful. So be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with Ahaya, just like Enoch. All praises, all beautiful praises to the Most High, Ahaya who lives above the heavens. Ahaya eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon, someday in glory. In yes, highest holy name. Amen and amen. Let's say the benediction together. It's Jude chapter 1, Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise, yes, higher our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.